Hello, fair maids, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, I've got some good news. After two days of thunderstorms and probably a lot of shakeup with you releasing about relationships, long-term relationships, and the relationships of your past, that was a full moon in Pisces. Now today, really, you're a private, and you're probably kind of closed off from the world, but I think you're feeling very strong. In fact, it looks like the universe is introducing you to a new intimacy, which is a closeness with yourself. Oh, I know, that sounds so sappy, doesn't it? It's true though, every now and then astrology gets kind of self-help on us. And this is one of those times, because the moon is in the house of intimacy, and it's really after this pattern of Virgos realizing that they have what it takes to get it done, that they can be the one there for themselves. It's boring, but it's solid, and I think you're feeling very good. Now on top of this, we have the moon in Aries that's trining to other planets. That's part of this big expression, because we have a grand trine on our hands, or a soul pyramid as we call it here at Soul Garden. That means you got Venus kind of conferencing in with the moon today and also Jupiter conferencing in. And what this does is align three major hotspots of your chart to really help you feel solid and whole. So again, I think it's private. I don't think maybe you want to be talking to people, but I think you're really feeling pretty good and there's nothing wrong and isn't that surprising. Now Venus in the 12th house, still retrograde, is still saying to Virgos, don't forget there's still some creativity here or some unconditional love or unconditional forgiving that has to happen when it comes to your past and your deepest pains. You're not done, but you are over the big hill with that. Then lastly, too, Jupiter, which is trying to help Virgos really expand their home, expand their foundation, expand their ideas of rootedness. They really haven't had a large enough pot in the garden metaphor for their flowers to really bloom. And they really are coming into a larger pot with greater potting soil, tons of fertilizer from the past. And that's really part of, I see a lot of Virgos literally moving or changing family relationships. So, it's all working as a dynamic. You're potting yourself into the ground better. You're also expanding and doing final touches on forgiving yourself. And all the while, you're really experiencing a new intimacy in your heart, which is knowing yourself and it being okay. All right, Virgo, that's all we got for Thursday. See you tomorrow with the weekend forecast. Live, love, V. So garden.